How is the measurement 128 picometers expressed in scientific notation? Okay, so now let's uh, recall what scientific notation is. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, standard scientific notation. For standard scientific notation, uh, you need to place a decimal point after the first digit. So in this case, it's after the digit 1. Okay, but in reality right now, in this problem, so the uh, decimal point is actually right here, even though it's not written, not shown, but it's after the digit 8. So therefore, we need to move that to the left once, twice, all right? So that then we have 1.28. Since we move the decimal place twice to the left, we have to time 10 to the second, which means we move that twice, two times to the left. So that's why the exponent has to be two. Now you see the standard scientific notation 1.28 times 10 to second picometers, exactly 128 picometers. You may say, Bingo, now I got the answer. But look at those choices. This is not among any of the five choices given here. And you obviously realize that now you need to express this measurement in scientific notation in meters. Okay, so let's uh, review what we learned previously. Okay, if we use a meter as the base unit here, so you basically just place m after each one. You know, let's say tm is a tera meters, um, km is a kilometers, uh, cm is centimeters, pm is picometers. Okay, now one picometer is equivalent to 10 to negative 12 meters. So let's write that down, the relationship. One picometer equals 10 to negative 12 meters. Or we can say one meter equals 10 to positive 12 picometers, okay? So they are the same, the same relationship, only different ways uh, to uh, express that. Okay, let's work on this question. We start with what we know. What do we know? We know 128 picometers. So let's start with that. 128 picometer. I would like to use a dimensional dimensional analysis. That way I will never make mistake. So we are converting from picometers, then put that on bottom, two meters on top. Okay, then there's a coefficient. I will just go with from picometer one picometer, I will use this relationship, to 10 to negative 12, okay? This gives me 128 times 10 to negative 12 meters, all right? But this is uh, not in scientific notation, all right, it's not the standard scientific notation. So, uh, therefore, let's move the decimal point to the left twice. Again, if we move that twice to the left, we need to time 10 to the second, all right? So basically, this just this is just the 128. It's just that part. So therefore, we still have to copy what we have left here. 
And now, obviously, this should give us 1.28 times 10 to negative 10 meters. Now, do we see this answer in those uh, choices given? Yes, obviously, D is the correct answer.